your dish at this point will look something like so. And all you have to do is take out the other end. So this is the other end that's connected there. And you will plug this into your router. So here's our router. This can only go one way again. So here we go. We're just going to plug this in. Again, it can only go one way in. You're not going to be able to plug it in another way. So it goes in this way. And we are set up. So the router itself will go inside your house or your RV, your campsite. And then the dish will be outside. It could be going on your roof, for example, or on the floor where there's no trees around it too close. So they cannot be way too close to this. It's just not going to capture a signal. It's not going to work out. So you want to leave this in a space that's pretty open. So they do specify that a lot within the manuals. So here's how the dish would look like if it's connected to your router. Obviously, you wouldn't have your router that close. The cable is really, really long, so you don't need to do that. And your dish will move by itself just to calibrate where it's supposed to be going towards. So it's going to point a certain direction, and that would be it. But at this point, you're pretty much ready to go on and take over everything, the setup, from your phone. All you have to do is just hook that up in the outlet. So again, you're supposed to plug this into an outlet and then just go to your phone or tablet and do the whole setup from there. Right into your app store. Now this would be the exact same thing if you have an iPhone or iPad. Down here below, you're gonna see search on the bottom right hand side, just tap on search. Up here, you're just gonna type in Starlink, look for it. And then what I usually never say is to tap on the very first thing, cause that's just an ad. It could just be a totally, completely different app. What you wanna do is scroll down a little bit and it's gonna be the second one. So here we go. We could just press on get, or you guys can open it up just to make sure it is. And this is the official one. So this one's the one that you want to download. So just press on get. Once you do that, it's just gonna go ahead, verify, and it's gonna start the download. It's a very, very small app. Right down here, it's gonna tell you which iPhones and uh, how big this is as well. So right here, it's gonna tell you it's around 110 megabytes, and it's compatible with any phone that's running iOS 13 or later which also does include the iPod Touch, which I didn't think it would be compatible. But anyways, once you're here, you guys can go ahead and just tap on open. Press always, always press on allow, by the way. And there you go, you can just get started. You will notice on the top left-hand side, you're gonna see that icon, like profile icon. Tap there, and you're gonna see this sign in. Just go ahead and press continue. Just write in your email, your password, and tap on sign in. Press allow again. Once you press allow, you're gonna see this, your account. However, now you can just press on the top left-hand corner of your screen on that X. And by pressing that, you're not signing out. You're signed into your account, which is exactly what we want. After that, we can just go ahead and press start setup. All right, so you're gonna notice that your Starlink moved by itself. It's actually searching. So once it's done finally searching, then, and only then, it's gonna work. So you just remember to do the scanning with your phone thing first, and then keep going with everything else. So then you're gonna get a connection. Or else, sometimes you're gonna be stuck at that thing where it tells you to connect to your Wi-Fi, but it doesn't really do anything, although you're already hooked up to your Wi-Fi from your dish. All right, so at this point, that's it. That's it for the dish. That 
It's all that we had to do, just run that speed test just to see how you're doing. And enjoy your dish. You can pause your service at any point if you have this type of service with roaming. Just go right into your app. Once you open up your app, on the top right hand corner of your screen, you're going to see that icon that's for your profile. Just tap up there, top right. Once you do so, you're going to see this. Scroll down a little bit and you're going to see right above sign out on the bottom, it's going to say pause service. Just tap on pause service. And once you do that, it's going to tell you this. It's going to pause at a specific date and then just tap OK and resume it whenever you guys are ready to go on your next thing or whenever you like. Also keep in mind that you can cancel that upcoming pause at any time. So if you change your mind, you can cancel that and then just keep going. Once you're done with that, on the top left hand side of your screen, just tap on that X and that's it. At this point in time, you should see this upcoming pause of your service. It's going to give you that notification. So just make sure to activate it whenever you want and deactivate it whenever you don't. It is for the whole month though, once you activate and then you can just deactivate it so you don't get charged for the next one. And that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.